Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to ship a portable electric typewriter in a carrying case. This is the box we're going to use. It's a nice heavy duty. It's got super double corrugated box here. Definitely probably a little too big. That's the popcorn we're going to use. I even taped the bo bottom flaps here for extra secure, you know, extra support on the box and make sure you uh, when you get done sealing this box up you seal it on the sides here like this and that and uh, another trick I use is when you use this tape you run this uh, thing over it this little paddle and it secures the tape much better it actually uh, sticks it better to the box so this is a heavy duty box we'll throw the type under net when we're done Put that aside right now. Put in our uh, our test subject to be shipped. This is it. A heavy duty portable electric typewriter. Make sure this thing's in focus. I went ahead and marked the top of the case so they know which side is up. It's got a key that goes with this one, but we're not gonna lock the case. We don't need to. And here's the typewriter inside. That's a electric coronet. You don't want to break this machine. It's one of a kind. And uh, so, most portable typewriters that have a case have uh, latches that latch the machine into the case. This one does too. It's latched in right now. The release on Smith Cronus is right here. And you can pop it up and get it out. Got to make sure that it's latched into these proper latches in the case. In the back here and then of course in the front. And that's what we're going to do right now. Put back in. Make sure the back is in place. And Smith Cronus, if you push this little piece down, it actually latches it. When you close the case, it pushes that down and latches it. But we'll go ahead and make sure it's latched. Now, with uh, most portables, they have carriage lock on them. And you definitely want to engage this on Smith Cronus because it also disengages the escapement. The carriage lock on this machine is right here. You hold that up, put it to the middle, and it's, it's locked. The escapement is locked out, and the carriage is locked. To release it, you just pull it this way, and it's released. We're going to do a double protection. We're going to lock it, and we're going to slide the margin right there so you can't move it. So that way it's doubly protected. Put a little note on here so they know to move that piece to unlock it. And that's it as far as the carriage lock goes. If you don't have a carriage lock, you should find some way to lock out the escapement. So that's protected in shipping. And uh, it's, it's a design for that. So that's uh, definitely the way to go. Um, so it's probably okay like this, but I like to add extra protection in these. They do nothing but... Uh, get damaged um, a lot of times you can put a piece here in the shift area to keep that from bouncing around so I've got a piece that fits in there and we're gonna put this piece right in here like this and that's gonna hold that uh, basket down that's gonna stay just like that there's a lot of space on the side of this machine because it's a 12 inch model there's space on this side and this side so I've got some pieces I already I made up that fit that wedge down in here. They're very tight. That's the way I want it, really snug. And they'll sit down inside there just like that. Some of the original packing on Smith Crohn's had styrofoam in here, so this is kind of duplicating that idea. So let's get these down in here all the way like this. So the case has still got a still got a close right here, so gotta watch that. And then on the top, there's still a little gap here. We're going to take care of that with uh, a couple more sheets of uh, bubble wrap. I'm going to put one kind of in the back panel and double up on the keyboard like that. And I already tried it, and it's just going to take two. So we'll put the other one back here, and we'll double up on the keyboard again like this. So now it's got some extra protection. And we'll close this thing up. And it should, if everything's right, it should just give a little resistance when you, you want to close it. 
make sure the bubble's in there. And then we'll just latch it up. Make sure the latch is latched. But I also don't trust latches in shipping. I've seen them pop open. So we're going to wrap this with plastic wrap and secure the case with plastic wrap. You can also use packing tape to wrap it around, but that way there's no stress on the lock. You don't want, you know, you don't want it popping open. So this is going to relieve any kind of stress on the, uh, the lock assembly. It's going to, we're just going to wrap it up like this. Get a handle here on this. Wrap it up tight. Get this stuff stretched real tight. It works wonderful. Maybe three wraps or so like this. And do the other side. That's going to see there's also a little gap here right now. We'll just squeeze that shut. And that's what this shrink wrap is going to hold that. And it's going to relieve any uh, stressors on the lock. And it's going to help. Put a couple of layers on this like this. Okay, so that's what we do with the case. And now it's ready to be wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, the handle, this particular model, it's kind of protruding here. So you want to make sure it's up like this so it's got less obstruction and get it as tight as possible. So let's put this aside and got some shrink wrap here. So, well not shrink wrap, uh, bubble wrap. We're going to lay this out. Um, there's one trick to this bubble wrap. It's got bubbles on this side. This side's kind of flat. It's best to have the bubbles on the inside like this. That way there's more surface area for the tape to adhere to. So let's just put this on. Like this maybe. And we'll uh, machine back here. Like this. Remember, put that handle up. Put this around here like that. key factor to bubble wrap is make sure it's very tight. There's no sense in it being loose. Make sure it's tight as can be. And that's, uh, that helps with this tape on here and really pull it, pull it tight like that. So it's tight. Do another one over here. Pull it tight. That and then we're just going to do these edges. Do a little uh, wrap up here. On the sides. Just let this guy as best as possible. We don't need that coverage because we're going to hit it with another layer of bubble wrap. Let's do a corner. Just tuck it in like this and make a little. Uh, corner piece out of it here, like that. This one here. Again, try to get this as tight as possible. here and the top right here because that way when the people unbox it they'll know basically which side is up which will help uh, in the unboxing and packing process so I've got yet another piece of bubble wrap here here same thing the bubble side 
inward. So this one's going to go across the other direction, like this, like that. And so we'll cross, cross it over the other way. Usually uh, this much bubble wrap is sufficient. The box is going to have a couple inches of space for popcorn. And if you don't have popcorn peanuts packing, I guess the newspaper might work or you know packing paper might work all right. So that's that's cocooned right here. We got a cocoon and it's pretty secure. It should be no rattles in this at all. And then all we gotta do is drop it in that box. And I'm probably gonna sit it in the box. It's a kind of a tall box. You don't want to go too small in the box. I'm probably going to sit in there at an angle like this. Um, because it will fit a little better. Like that. And then just uh, surround it with uh, popcorn peanuts. And uh, and when you put the peanuts in there, stick your fingers in there and uh, make sure it's down in there so it doesn't have any space. And there's no movement. And that should do it. Should be arrived safely. If you pack them up like this, I think that's all the tricks I got for that. Uh, key factor is all this stuff right here and getting the in interior all secured. And uh, make sure the box is taped good. And make maybe put some arrows on it so they know the right side up. And that's my packing of a. This is a heavy electric, so it's kind of heavy. The manuals are a little lighter. And a little less stress on everything, but uh, that should do it. Phoenix typewriter, good day.